Underneath the jungle canopy, these infantry officers are learning survival skills. They've spent the last three months training in Wales at the Infantry Battle School and have come to Belize for their final battle camp. Exercise Grim Warrior will test their leadership abilities as platoon commanders. Everything they've done up until now hinges on them passing this final stage and the pressure is on. If you can soldier well in the jungle and you can operate well in the jungle, you can pretty much operate well anywhere in the world. Um, being in the jungle, just living and surviving uh, and keeping your body together um, uh, has, has its challenges. Uh, and then adding the complexity of command and control, navigation uh, within these conditions um, just adds a whole new uh, uh, side to it. And so uh, being here is uh, an excellent experience uh, for the young officers, which um, regardless of whether or not they operate in the jungle later on in their careers, uh, there'll be lessons that track across to any uh, environment they go to. The jungle is one of the toughest environments to train in, so to start this exercise, everyone's going through survival school. This clearing has become a jungle classroom, with lessons in setting traps, finding water and building your own shelter. It's important everyone here gets a basic understanding of how to survive in the jungle. Hopefully no one will have to set these traps for real, or have to build these shelters. They need to learn the skills for staying alive. It's a long way from the hills and the fields of Brecon that they're used to. It goes from one extreme to another, it'll be nice and hot and then it'll be raining. I think a lot of it's due to the admin as well. Not, not, a lot of soldiers are not used to being wet all the time and hot. It's usually cold and wet back in Brecon. You can barely see more than 10 metres at any one point. You know, in Brecon you'll be able to look out over a field and you can be sort of 50 metres behind the troops and you'll be able to see exactly what they're doing and, and intimately control them if you need to. Whereas here, you, you, you have to trust your, your lowest level, you have to trust your, your private soldiers, your guardsmen uh, to, to do what they've been told to and also your, you know, your section commanders. Um, you can't be on top of them you know, really, really driving what they're doing. So it's a, a lot more trust based out here, I think. Moving around the jungle is certainly challenging. In small sections, they're practicing their close target reconnaissance skills, learning how to observe the enemy without being spotted. But with dry leaves and trees underfoot, it's no easy task. It's surprisingly difficult to see the guys playing enemy for us, uh, BDF or Belize Defence Force, and obviously they're, uh, they're local to the environment, they know it at the back of their hand. So it's very difficult to sort of uh, creep up on them, as it were, because they know, they know the ground perfectly and uh, they know everything that's wrong with it. So if, you, if you're making the slightest mistake, they spot you out straight away. It's very difficult to get that close and get that information that you require. The last three days, there's been no rain, so everything's kind of sun dried. So, you know, the battle discipline, the levels need to be, you know, very, very high from start to finish. It's not like in, in the UK, you're kind of, you know, you've got that kind of uh, thought process and estimate that you do, but in the jungle, you know, everything is times 10. Everything's harder, even walking's harder, you know, because of the heat, because of the ground, you know, administrating yourselves a lot more difficult. Um, going for A to B in a, you know, tactical formation, extremely difficult, you know, and it, it is enjoyable once you get used to it. You know, you've got the guys out here that come out the first two or three days, uh, everything that moves are scared of, do you know what I mean? But eventually that does go away and then that's when you start obviously getting the, the full benefit of the training and enjoying yourself. It's relentlessly hot and humid, even at night, so it's essential to drink lots of water and keep organised. And every morning it's an early start for briefings, the platoon commanders taking it in turns to lead each objective. This platoon is planning a deliberate attack on an enemy position. They're being assessed continually. We've got one platoon that have just sprung an ambush and they're now in pursuit of enemy. And then we've got three platoon conducting a, uh, a CTR onto a location, trying to identify what kind of uh, enemy strengths we're up against. And they will also conduct a hasty attack onto that objective at a later time. It's difficult, there's no doubt about it, um, especially working in Belize. The terrain is completely different to anything that they've been used to in Brecon, with the wide open the fields and the linear wood blocks. Um, situational awareness is at a minimum, uh, communication is hard, uh, everything has just been kind of multiplied by a factor of 10 in terms of difficulty. After a recce, they creep up on the enemy position for the attack. Their leadership is placed under the spotlight, with the directing staff watching on. They all need to pass this exercise in order to join their battalions. And training here is the ultimate test.
Carla Prater, Forces News, Belize.